choosing clothing that is going to look very overwhelming on your body. A great example of this would be if you are a shorter woman, yet of course the channel thank you for being here thank you for subscribing commenting etc etc you know that I am so grateful for all of you if you happen to be new to the channel you happen to click upon my face please hit the red subscribe button down below join our community of feminine women who also like to talk about homemaking today we're going to talk about how to be dainty I wanted to put a little bit of a disclaimer and tell you that you can be feminine but not necessarily dainty I know a lot of you really like that term dainty and so I thought that I would give you a video giving you some of the pointers that I have in order for you to become a daintier woman. This can help you, however, develop your femininity because daintiness is tightly linked with girliness. And for many of us, tapping into girliness helps us feel more fulfilled. It helps us feel more confident. And when you feel more confident and more fulfilled, you can therefore activate your femininity as a woman. Before we begin, I wanted to apologize for my hair and my bangs are at that like really really awkward stage so I don't know if my clips are going to be falling all the way down my face throughout the video but we are just going to roll with it as always please hit the like button on the video because it's going to help reach more women than it's going to help grow this channel and if you have been a longtime subscriber here you know that I am not only concerned with myself but I am concerned with the whole like femininity revolution happening on the internet because I really do believe that when we are a strong force of many women talking about femininity, it's going to reach those women who truly do feel lost and would find a lot of comfort in developing their own femininity. So without further ado, let me give you my first tip on how to become a daintier woman, which is to embrace movement as a part of daintiness. I want you to picture the dainty woman kind of synonymous with elegance a little bit. You can kind of think about the dainty woman as somebody who moves with intent throughout her day. She does not move with so much force and carelessness and clumsiness and of course that happens to everybody. Of course it is normal to make a mistake and to stumble. I myself have tripped in many circumstances. What I mean more is to practice good habits of posture as well as feminine mannerisms. I have a whole series down below on feminine mannerisms. I talk a little bit about the movement of your hands as well as how you can walk to become more feminine and it really is kind of like a life skill so I'm going to link my playlist down below. An easy way to look at it is you want to have a clear distinction from the male counterpart. You want to refrain from moving in a type of androgynous way. Some easy role models you could say to look at dainty movement would be Disney princesses but you could also look at pageant winners, pageant queens. I have a few of my favorites that I will link down below. I think they are excellent embodiments of feminine and dainty women. You kind of want to look for role models and the way in which they move. If you think that I move in a dainty way, by all means, look at the way in which I move and then kind of think about how you can adapt that and then you can make it your own. The next thing I want to talk to you about is your clothing, your outfits. In order to become a daintier woman, you want to kind of adopt a little bit more of romantic feminine style. I have talked about in one of my first few videos ever the difference between classic and romantic feminine style. I'm going to link it down below. If you've been a long time subscriber to the channel, you know I harp on going to that video and really studying it because I do think that it has the fundamental basics of feminine dressing. That being said, dainty dressing really focuses on those romantic details, ruffles, it also focuses on perhaps little pom-poms, really intricate, minute details that you might not see at first glance, but when you approach the dainty woman, you do notice and it gives you something special to look at. Another way is small patterns. Even this shirt has a few dainty details. I will show you. There are some bows here. Small floral patterns, small polka dots, you kind of get the picture. Another thing that I want you to really focus on with your attire is also your accessories. You want to go for small, delicate accessories. For example, this bracelet, and it has a nice dainty detail because it has a little flower. I don't know if it's going to focus. 
a nice little pendant, some rings, you get the point. When we're discussing the complete ensemble of the outfit, one piece of advice that I want to offer to you is to avoid choosing clothing that is going to look very overwhelming on your body. A great example of this would be if you are a shorter woman, yet of course there are exceptions, but wearing something like a maxi skirt, that could be very overwhelming on you because you are of a small petite frame. Maybe choose a skirt that is below the knee if you're going for the modesty, but you're going to be able to show a little bit more of your ankles. You're still going to be able to remain modest, but it's not going to be so overwhelming for you because of your small stature. Same thing with too much detail. Big flowers, big bows. If you're going for daintiness, you're going to want to play that down. Which leads me into my next point, which is your body. You're going to want to accentuate the more delicate parts of your body. For example, your collarbone. You could opt for boat neck shirts in order to show those things, your wrists, your ankles, certain parts of your face depending on the facial structure that you have. For example, the cupid's bow on your lips, if you have one of those that's very pronounced, use your lip liner to be able to accentuate that part because it's really a dainty detail. Nude color shoes or a little bit of a heel to accentuate your ankles if you have nice small ankles. I forgot to add but the arch of your eyebrows, if you have a nice eyebrow arch, use a pencil to accentuate that little detail. Anything that's going to cause your best facial features that are like a little bit, I guess, understated without makeup, use makeup in order to accentuate the daintiness of those. When you are exercising, go for exercises that aren't going to bulk you up so much, but they're going to elongate your muscles. This is going to help contribute to a daintier look. For example, Pilates exercises, ballet exercises, bar exercises, exercises, swimming. Now coming back to makeup, you want to kind of imply an understated type of makeup. Besides for like example, if you were going to accentuate the dainty arch in your eyebrows or your cupid's bow, what I mean is your overall look wants to be a little bit softer if you're focusing on daintiness. What I would recommend would be going for the French style of makeup. I already talked about this in the past, but the French style of makeup really chooses to play up one feature, which would be going well with the concept of daintiness because you would be picking the one feature to accentuate. You also might want to consider a signature scent. Something with floral undertones is going to give you more of that dainty vibe. You also kind of want to think about the ease in your hairdos. You want to think about the romantic details of hairdos, but you don't want to overdo it when you're going for daintiness. Again, we come back to the concept of natural. Dainty accessories, little accessories, this is a good example of a type of dainty accessory for your hair. Simplistic styles like loose curls, uh, French twist updos. I'm going to insert some pictures here so that you can see what I'm kind of talking about in terms of your details in your hair. The next point is your surroundings because the surroundings that are in your home, in your room, whatever age you are, you're going to want them to be a reflection of the type of vibe that you're trying to portray. So you're trying to portray a more dainty vibe. So you're also going to want to focus on small, intricate details details throughout your surroundings. I'm thinking about natural florals. I'm thinking about patterned quilts. I'm thinking about pillows that have a slight detail. All those kinds of thoughtful and intricate details that we can put in home decor will help you reflect a daintiness in your home. And when you feel like your home reflects daintiness, you're going to have more motivation for you to actually carry that vibe throughout your life. And the last one I want to talk to you about is your personal personality. The dainty woman has a type of playful, innocent nature to her. I've talked about this before in some previous videos. I'm going to link down below. But you want to carry yourself in your everyday life with a type of free spirit. Some of the easier ways to do this is of course to consume content of women that you think have that type of dainty aura. You can also watch movies. I know a lot of you are into like period dramas, which is an excellent way for you to get that dainty aura because a lot of those women do carry themselves in that manner. Make a commitment to at least for half an hour every single day consume content where you have role models that are of a dainty nature. Trust me, it's going to help you so 
much because it, just like I'm a big proponent of surrounding yourself with homemakers as well as feminine women, if that is something that you're trying to develop in yourself, you also have to look for those little characteristics in your femininity, in your journey that are going to help you live the way in which you want to live as a feminine woman. And if daintiness is on your list, you're going to want to look for content creators that exude that. That's all I have for you today. Please leave me a comment down below on how you strive to be a daintier woman, how you have done this, anything that you want to talk about on the topic, any tips that you have for the women who watch this video. It's so appreciated. I know that many of you interact in the comment section and it means so much to me. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, not have a video Thursday because I'm going to work on a springtime vlog for you, a nice, hopefully long vlog for you that I think that many of you will enjoy. So I will see you next time, feminine women. Love you all. Bye-bye.